a version of the Appalachian dulcimer known as the cult courting dulcimer. This was an early form of birth control. <laughs> a young couple could sit in the parlor and pitch woo, and as long as mom and dad could hear music coming out of the parlor, they didn't have to chaperone them too closely. It is possible. It is possible to play it with two, one hand each. <laughs> we figure they knew that too. Hey, mom, leave me alone. I'm on a roll already. Musical bundling. Yeah. And the instrument I've got. Susan's got the courting dulcimer. That's good. I'm playing a sitar, which is also known as the Irish bazooki, which is why we're playing a traditional English song here. Of course. Um, now he shows up. Yeah, he steps outside for two seconds. Yeah, it was fine. Dereliction of duty. There's going to be another switch fairly soon. But, uh, anyway, this song is also our one chord flop. A lot of you heard this in uh, grade school. Can she bake a cherry pie? <laughs> we are February Sky, and this is the old creepy version. Because old song. and creepy are us. <laughs> now, this does have a repeat line at the end of each each chorus or verse or whatever. I sometimes try to teach it to people, but because I'm dyslexic, I screw it up. Heard about the dyslexic that tried to commit suicide? Yeah, threw no. himself behind a bus. As one of them, I can say that could happen, but it's really easy. Right. Just follow me. It was the dyslexic state trooper was pulling motorists over looking for IUDs. <laughs> I always wonder if he found it. <laughs> so that leads to this song, but. Uh... All the day, Barney boy, boy, Billy boy, boy, where he been all the day? Oh, all my day, dear darling Billy boy, I have been all the day talking with the lady gay. Isn't she a young thing looking for her money, y'all? Did she ask him to sit down? Barney boy, boy, Billy boy, boy, did she ask him to sit down? Oh, oh my dear. Scottish fiddle tunes. These are uh, from the Hebrides Islands. Uh, one's called Annie's the Darling, and the other one's called the St. Kilda's Wedding.
And now, 